Hello and welcome back to our Montana Grizzlies Dynasty in NCAA Football 2007. Today we are taking on the Ohio Bobcats in some more action, and then we're traveling to take on Boston College. Should be a tough contest there. Ohio should be a tough game for us as well. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far. So we are on what game seven and eight, I believe. Tyler Rocky in the chat. John Perez, what is going on, fellas? Don't forget to slap the like button, guys, and subscribe if you're new. So there's plenty more PS2 sports game action coming to you. We got NCAA baseball coming soon. If you want a player, go ahead and join our Discord community. There's a link in the description below for that. If you want to create a player, there's a form to fill out in there. We still got, I think, 12 openings left to get on the diamond for the Syracuse Orangemen. Alright, I think we're all shared and good to go everywhere. Let me just dot my T's and cross my I's real quick. I think we're good to go. Alright. Time for some Grizz action. Yes, sir. Where's my controller? Where is it? There it is. All right. We're in action. Let's go. Montana versus Ohio. Bobcats 3-4. Grizzlies are 3-3 three three currently. We are heavily outmatched on paper. And it might be a little tough, but, you know, we're, we're going to give it a go. We do have a really good rushing attack, so I like that. Rush defense is decent. Top 30. So that's real nice. And what else? Their rushing attack is pretty good as well. Number 17. They're right there with us. Just 8 yards less than us per game. A couple top 60 offenses. Their defense is 42nd though, so... Let's take a look at our in-season recruits real quick. We'll check that out. We still have four guys on the list. And what is what's happening with my phone? Alright, we're good. Technology, you know. All right, Keith Lindsey, receiver. Hopefully we can get him. We're in the lead against Cal. And we got a soft verbal from Dennis Campbell, 6'2 guard out of Parkway, California. We also got a soft verbal from my top guy, Jonathan Cobbs, 6'9", 275-pound tackle. He will definitely be our left tackle. Um, if he commits, which he's going to, I will take nothing but a yes from him. And we are also leading for Sam Daniels, another tackle. He'd be our starting right tackle. He's pretty big, 6'5", 324. He's got about 50 pounds on Mr. Cobbs. Well, that's it for all that. Let's get into some action, boys. Do, 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 do. And it looks like Texas just lost. We will go through and look at the upsets after our game, of course. Bounce pass, yada, yada, yada. Grizzly profile. We're good to go, fellas. Let's do this. My dog is chewing on her plastic fishy toy. Well, it's not plastic. I don't know what the heck it is, but, you know, something meant for canine. Is that a good fishy? <laughs> My dog is a goofball. All right. We are up to 88th in the nation as my dog throws the fish at me. A couple tough losses. Last stream. Who did we lose to? Miami, Ohio, and uh, is that who we lost to? I can't even remember what happened. We'll look at the schedule after this game. I got three different series going right now, and I'm also working on the college baseball series, so. And I had a long weekend. I'm just trying to get my bearings here. That's not a good start for the special teams. Holy Toledo. 
I also got a new phone, so I'll be able to post some YouTube shorts on the channel. You'll be seeing a little bit more of those. Just mostly highlights and stuff. I just posted the an interception return for touchdown from the 2K5 franchise. If you haven't watched that one, definitely go check that out. It was insane. Alright, I don't like that formation very much. Let's get it. I expect Ohio to try to pound the rock all game. Buchanan makes a great play. Holy smokes, that was nice. They're down and four. They are going to rely heavily on this halfback. We've got to try to contain him. Try to slow him down. Also, let me know if my mic is too loud or not loud enough. I have it in a different position. And we are going to sack the quarterback on third down. Outlaw goes down. That is a loss of eight on the Bliss. Beautiful play. You ready for NCAA baseball and being a starting pitcher? It's going to be fun, Tyler. I'm looking forward to it, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Decapitated. All right, offense. Let's get it popping. Get this ground game working. Oh my. That is not okay. The right guard got flattened. That's not a good start. Two and three on the profile because I'm dumb and played a game on the wrong profile. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice. Nice tackle. Tight end couldn't hold his block for more than a split second. And just like that, third down and ten. We're forcing uh, our quarterback to throw it here. He's struggled this season. See what we can do here. Got to go ten yards. Nobody's open, nobody's open. We got a man. Oh my goodness, no. Oh, no. Why did he do a bullet pass? He threw it right to him. If he lobbed it like I told him to, man, that would have been a first down at least. Quarterback woes continue here for the Grizz. Ohio strikes first with a pick six. And extra point nearly blocked. Battle of the mascots. Both of these schools have mascots in the game. You'd love to see that. Can't do it with the camera. Can't. I just can't do it, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, nice spin, but spins right into a tackle. I think I predicted at the start of the year that we were going to get, or, well, you know, three or four wins. So we're, we're right there already. And that's a nice hit by the linebacker. We got three wins. Can we win three more to secure a bowl berth? That I don't know. It's going to be tough, especially these two games that we're playing today. Ohio and then traveling to Chestnut Hill to take on BC. That's going to be a tough game. And it's a nice catch by Fenner up to the 25-yard line. But another third down, third and four. We are 111. In the nation on third down. Anybody? Anybody? Fenner? 
There we go. Fenner. Back-to-back -back catches for the tight end, and that's a first down for Montana. Get back to trying to run it a little bit. Got him to jump, and man, they just know when we're running it. They just know. Great run support from the defensive backs. And there goes Lynch. A few more yards up the gut. And it's third and four. Let's go, boys. Got him. Got him open. Oh, nice deflection. Dang it. Thought we were going to have a nice game there. Five cats with all the momentum so far in the game. Oh, I missed. He didn't. Alright, defense. Let's get after him. Nice play by the defensive end. Three yard pickup for Ohio. Hey, Michael Gregory, what's going on, brother? Sports Vision TV, what's happening, man? Oh, he's so fast. Get him. Would be cool to run some two tight end sets next year, like the Patriots and Brady era. Oh, I would love to. I, I got to get some recruits, though. We can't just go into that right now, but that is my plan. I want to run two tight end set and get a really good fullback. One that can, you know, run block really well, able to catch the ball, and it's pretty quick. That would be really nice. I just want a big, bruising ball carrier. Get him. Get him, boys. Somehow, Outlaw gets back to the line of scrimmage. Alright, second down and ten. Get him. Buchanan with a nice tackle. Let's go, big fella. Just got back from a weekend river retreat with your church. Nice, Michael. That's pretty awesome. Hope you had a good time, man. Let's go defense. Third down and eight. We can do this. Pressure. Buchanan hits him, but it's too late. There's a fumble. It's recovered by Papinga. First down, Montana. We got the momentum, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Boy, was that pretty. I don't know who forced it, but I like it. Uh-oh. Got him. Sharp. Wide open up past the 35 yard line. First down, Grizz. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Pitch it out. Ah, oh, nice tackle by the linebacker. Nice run, though, for Lynch. tough yesterday because it rained. Man, yesterday's weather was kind of really bad here in uh, New York as well. A little bit crazy. Here we go. Good run. Good run. Walker. Oh my goodness. The stiff arm was so nasty. 
First down, Montana. I love the stiff arm in this game. It just looks so vicious. It's another nice run. Oh, we try to spin with Lynch, and he is dropped. Nine-yard pickup, though. 18 yards on five carries. Yeah, isn't that stiff arm animation so nice, guys? I love it. It just looks so strong. It reminds me of AP. Little Adrian Peterson. There's another one. Get off me, son. First down, Montana. We got ourselves a drive. Gonna give Lynch a little bit of a breather. Get Walker out there. Oh, this could be good to the right side. We gotta be careful of that linebacker, though. He is in the zone. Get that lock. Oh, he didn't get the block. That's all right. That's okay. We'll take five yards. We'll take that. Boise State won 69 to 10 over Idaho. Some rivalry, huh? <laughs> My goodness. All right, we're going. We're going power option left. This could be good. Go, go, go. And a first down for Walker to the 15. Quarterback got rocked on the play. Let's go halfback tackle. There's Lynch again. And almost stiff arms another defender. Drop at the five-yard line. And we are heading into the second quarter with Ohio on top 7-0 after a pick six. Get Lynch some Skittles like his cousin. <laughs> oh, man. I'd like to see some more beast mode right now. Get in that end zone, Lynch. Come on, brother. Oh, he gets the first and goal, though. I'll take that. All right, let's go single back. See what they're going to do here. They're going to go goal line, so this single back might be a mistake. We're going to try it, though. And Lynch trying to get to the edge, and he is in. Touchdown. Look at the strength from the halfback. Spinning, carrying defender all the way for six. Extra point away from tying this ball game up. That was a great drive by the running backs. Beautiful. Absolutely glorious. And the extra point is good. 7 all. Marvin Joseph in the chat. What up, Marvin? What's going on, brother? All right, special teams, let's make a play. Let's get this ball back for that offense. Not this time. Oh, boy. Get him. All right, here we go. Our defense has been playing lights out. Just 54 yards of offense in the first quarter for the Bobcats. Get him, boys. Uh-oh. He's got the edge. Look out. He's fast. Off work until Friday once again. Man, Marvin, that sounds glorious. Unfortunately, uh, I got four days till the weekend. <laughs> That's all right. We'll be here streaming every day. I'm hoping we fill that NCAA baseball roster so we can get... Oh, that should have been picked. So we can get that series going. So that's looking like possibly next week will be the start for that. Not that you care about baseball, Marvin. Oh, nice run for the fullback. He fumbles it. Oh, we couldn't get it. Dang it.
Means you work through the whole weekend? Yeah, that is the tough part, but... It's alright, you got a few days off, though. Enjoy yourself. Get some good rest. Get a boys. Man, this running back is good. He's got pretty good vision. I'm doing something risky here. We're going all out blitz. So we're only going to have three guys back in the secondary. And it works out. Buchanan with the tackle. Number of baseball games you've played in your lifetime is uh, you can count on one hand. Yeah, I bet that's a lot of people. I think it would be fun though because I'm not good at baseball games. So I, I think it would be really fun for you guys to watch me struggle. I do also want to incorporate college basketball on the channel at some point. Which I'm also not good at basketball. Get him, boys. Get him. He's open. Oh, he's able to hang on to that. Even though Moore went flying into his legs. And this is a really good drive from the Bobcats. Let's go defense. Let's figure it out, boys. Oh, Buchanan just out of reach. He's not fast enough. And Bass or Base, whichever one you want, is in for the touchdown. Most recent one was backyard baseball on PC. Damn, Marvin. <laughs> Oh, that's too funny, man. I love it. And the extra point nearly blocked. But the Bobcats are up 14-7 to after an 8 place 79-yard drive. Took about two minutes off the clock. back to the ground and it worked out really well for us on the last drive see if we can put together another good one. Oh my goodness that free safety came out of nowhere who does that who does a free safety blitz absolute psychos You just started playing MLB 23? Nice. That's I have that one. I'm not very good. Pitch it out. There goes Lynch. Down the right sideline. Up to the 40 or 37 yard line rather. First down Montana. Lynch up to 55 yards with a touchdown. is brought down by number 26. I think that's their linebacker. It's really hard to tell where these guys are actually playing. Lynch in the zone. We're going to give it to him. Oh, nice stiff arm after the juke. And Lynch close to the first down. They're going to give it to him. Try a toss play. This could go terribly wrong for us. But we're giving it a shot. They don't have... Okay, now they do have everybody over there. You know what? We're going to switch it left side. We're getting crazy with it. Nobody blocked. Okay. We don't need blockers. Let's go, Walker. Nice stiff arm. Picks up six yards on the play. Here we go. White with a lot of green grass in front of him inside the 30. The 20 and pushed out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 
the old naked bootleg. They were lost. They had no idea where he went. Big time run for the quarterback. Let's go, Grizz. We got to stay away from that outside linebacker on the right. And Lynch will just fall forward and picks up three. Here we go. Lynch is in for a second touchdown of the half. Extra point away from tying it up. This rushing attack is beautiful. That was another great drive from Montana. Extra point up and good. We're all tied up at 14 apiece. After an 8 play, 80 yard drive. Took just under 2 minutes to march down the field for 6. Come on, Mott. Let's get it, brother. Never mind, somebody else got him. Let's go. All right, neither team really knows how to throw the football. And I'm okay with that. Buchanan, another nice tackle. Get him, boys. I'm trying to break through all these blocks and I just can't get past them all. Papinga with the tackle is fourth of the half. It's a big play, third and five. Just over two minutes left in the first half. And we are going to get the stop and we're going to call a timeout. Let's coach up the O-line for us. Guys on the right. Okay, that works. And he gets walloped at about the 32 yard line. Back to the ground attack. Oh my goodness. There was nowhere to go on that play. See if we can't throw the ball to the running back. He's in the zone right now. And can't break a tackle. That's unfortunate. Third and 11 coming up. Probably should have tried something out of the shotgun on that play instead. That's all right. Who's open? Who's open? Who's open? Where are you going? Oh my goodness, he threw that way away from the running back. And we will have to punt it away. No return for Ohio. It's out of bounds inside the 30 at the 27. Pretty good kick. Not too shabby. Let's go defense. 107 left in the half. Cannot let them get points here. And there's a nice tackle by the corner. Outlaw with three consecutive completions. And I can't.
can't break this guy's block either. All right, we have third and long. Let's go cover two. Bobcats, two for five on third down and a half. And they are not going to get the first down. Call timeout. Might get something going here. Maybe. Majin Rutherford. What's going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Alright, here's Walker. We're going left side here. Oh my goodness, they just closed so fast on us. And Brian Watson is injured on the play for Ohio. All right, let's go. Let's try to play action. If it's not open, I'm just going to run it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go white. And that is a late hit. They're not going to call it. Come on, man. He was clearly out of bounds. The second time this play has worked for us. I mean, he clearly stepped out of bounds and then got throttled. All right, we're at the 43. Twubble up top and it's caught first down that was a big time throw I don't think we have any timeouts left do we how many we got I think that was it right oh we got one left I think I'm just going to run it towards the middle of the field kick a field goal Try to at least. And that works. Two for affection. Hello, game. I'm calling a timeout. It better have called it. Are you serious? It didn't call. Oh my god. Did I not have a timeout, guys? I didn't have a timeout, did I? Oh, no. I think what I saw was the challenge. No. Missed opportunity. Oh, man. That's so unfortunate. I'm not used to being able to challenge in college. That's my bad, guys. I'm so used to 03. That's tough. It should be 17-14 right now. The blunder of a lifetime. That was a great tackle. Man. Watson with seven tackles already. He came back from injury. Somebody help. Somebody help me, please. Overthrown. Intended for Smith. And it's third and ten. Alright. We are one for four on third down. Try to hit this corner route on the left. We got him, but he's out of bounds. Quarterback was... Hit as he delivered the ball. That is unfortunate. Not really how we wanted to end that first half and start the second. Dang it. That is disappointing. To say the least. All 
Our defense is playing fantastic right now. Only allowed the one drive so far. And Buchanan can't make the tackle. Look out. Oh, my goodness. 15-yard carry for Bass. Get him. Oh, no, he's wide open. And, oh, my goodness, the DB got there just in time to make the play. I thought that was going to be a for sure touchdown for Ohio. Can't get there. Dang it. Bass with 134 yards and a touchdown today. And it's third and four coming up. We're going to go Banjo Strike. Blitz some linebackers. Let's go defense. Oh man, I broke through two blocks but couldn't get there with Buchanan. He's just too slow. Super unfortunate. And a first down for Ohio at the 29-yard line of Montana. Stick around after this game. We're taking on Boston College as we get a huge hit by Carroll on the running back. Oh, my goodness. Second down and 13 now. Nice play by the defensive end. That'll bring up third and 14. That was Cohen on the tackle. Nothing deep, secondary. Nothing deep, brothers. There we go. All right, so we're going to hold them to a field goal try. Which should have been to tie it, but I mistook a... Uh, Challenge for a timeout, unfortunately. And the field goes up, and it is good. Ohio's on top, 17-14. All right, offense, back to work. Back to work, boys. Walker set to return it. And he's dropped at the 19. And Lynch somehow is able to squeeze through there and get three yards. Let's go with the power option left. Might be okay. Just got to make that corner miss. Or block him. Nice. Get that block, please. Or not. The fullback would get out of my way. That could have been a huge game. Try to go play action. Tight end, Fenner is open again. His third catch of the game, up to the 44-yard line. Another injury for Ohio. That's one of their DBs, Bobby Washington. Pretty sure that was their starting strong safety. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and test the backup right here, right now. Number 34, strong safety. 
Don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. And we throw it out of bounds. He caught it, but he's out of bounds. Oh, my goodness, he caught it. They counted it. Oh, my. I thought for sure he was out of bounds. He also, he dropped it. You could hear him drop it twice. But we'll take it. 30-yard pickup in the passing game. There we go. Lynch making a couple guys miss, and then he gets big hit after a five-yard carry. Washington out for the game with a strained bicep. It's a big loss for the secondary. And Lynch, oh my goodness, beast mode, going in for his third touchdown of the game, putting Montana on top again. What a run. Putting the team on his back today. Extra point is up and good. It's 21-17. Six play, 81 yard drive. Took 119. Go Grizz. Yes, sir, Marvin. Yes, sir. Crenshaw with a decent return up to the 22-yard line. Get him. That was some nice blocking. Oh, my. Every defensive lineman was just stuffed. Montana, 316 yards of offense. Ohio, less than 200. Their running back's been fantastic, though. And here he goes again. He's loose, breaking a tackle. Gets up to the 48. And that gets the Bobcats their ninth first down of the game and over 200 yards of offense now. Play action. He's wide open over here. Oh my goodness. Where'd the linebacker come from? He's lucky that wasn't intercepted. Open over the middle is Daniels, and they'll pick up five. It's third and five. Let's go cover four. Bobcats three for eight on third down. And that is going nowhere. Outlaw destroyed in the backfield for a big time loss. Cohen. Woof. Staying on his feet the whole time. Man, what a hit. Oliver on for his fourth punt. Man, we're going to fair catch this. Let's go back to Lynch. He's been the bell cow today. Nice tackle. Left guard didn't block anybody. Tennessee beats Alabama in Knoxville. Here we go. Nice run. And there's another great stiff arm from Lynch. Still going up to the 40-yard line. Another great run.
My goodness. That was number 34, the backup strong safety. I said we were going to pick on him. I thought it was going to be in the passing game, but the running back had other plans. Oh, nice tackle by 2-4, the corner. Grizz with 238 yards on the ground. Ohio, 173. They're running the ball very well uh, this game as well. But only 210 yards of offense. They can't throw the ball, which is very odd. Our passing defense has not been the greatest. Walker's got 50 yards today. And it is second down and nine. Uh-oh. That's unfortunate. Big loss on the sack. And it's third and 15. It was a loss of six. Play action read. Uh oh. How do I throw it away? Oh, he wouldn't throw it away. Oh my goodness. That is so unfortunate. That's going to end the third quarter with Montana on top. 21 17 against the Ohio Bobcats here in Maction. That was a huge loss of 16 on the play. I definitely hit the button to throw it away, but he had other plans. Uh-oh. Nice tackle. I think that was Fenner, the tight end. This is going to be an exciting finish, fellas. One quarter to go. Four-point ball game. Oh my goodness. Straight up the middle picks up the first down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Nebraska. Yeah, Nebraska beats Texas. That's the upset of the week right there. Number one goes down. Why do I keep jumping? Oh my goodness. Another big hit on the running back. Jeez Louise. Second down and eight. Six and a half minutes to go. Get there. And he dropped it and caught it. Three yard pickup. Or one yard pickup, rather. And it's third and seven. Bobcats three for nine on third down. Get in there, boys. Get him. Nice tackle. Let's go. That was Young. And he is injured on the play. That would be a massive loss. He is the leader of this defense. That was a big stop by him. Forcing another Bobcat punt from their 48-yard line. And Walker cannot get past the first man. Dropped it around the 12. Some plays our offensive line blocks great, and other plays are just like that, where there's just instant pressure, and our running back has nowhere to go. And we 
you can't pitch it. Let's see another play just like that. Offensive lineman playing it on his keister. And it's third down and 12. Ohio defense stepping it up. Scream. Here we go. Lynch is going to get the first down. That was perfectly executed by the Montana offense. That was pretty. And Fenner is wide open again. It is fourth catch of the ball game, I believe. He's been pretty efficient for us. Man, what a hit by the linebacker. Walker only able to muster up enough to get one yard. Try a toss play. Got to be careful of the linebacker. Running backs in the zone too, but more often than not, I've seen the, the defenders win the one-on-one -on -one matchups. This is not good. Get away from me. <laughs> Get out of here. Cannot afford to fumble it right now or turn the ball over in any way. Third down and five. And Lynch will fight forward, but he is short of the marker. Fourth and inches coming up. We got to go for it. We don't have to, but I want to. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's go ISO. It's a big, big play here. Let's try to get him off sides at least. <laughs> oh man, I should have called a timeout and punted it. Great play by Watson. Our offensive line is getting bruised and just battered and beat all day. Three and a half minutes to go. Montana still on top, 21-17. Here's another good run from Bass. He'll pick up eight. It has been tough sledding trying to slow him down. And Buchanan is there. Look at the big defensive tackle. Hustling downfield to make the stop. Nice play. Not sure who that was. Bass, 198 yards and a touchdown. Is that our safety that was suspended for five games? Yes, it's Miller. <laughs> I forgot all about him. Because he got suspended for, I can't remember what it was, fraud or something. All right, third down and 15 to go from the 29-yard line. Bobcats, 30% on third down, 3 for 10. Pressure, and he is going to miss the mark towards the left side. They're going to try a field goal on fourth and 15. This will be a 46-yard try by Reynolds, who is 12 of 16 on the season. This will tie his long of the year. 46 yards. Kick is up. And he is right down Broadway. 
It's 21-20. Montana still hanging on to the lead. Two and a half minutes remaining. We got to pick up some first downs on this drive. Oh my goodness. Offensive lineman just completely bulldozed, and he's still on the ground. That's the left guard. I don't even know if he got up. They might have just buried him right there. Do I know how to play the NCAA base baseball game? Uh, yeah. I'm not very good at it, though. I'm not good at baseball. Oh, here's a good run. Alright, third down at two. That was a big time gain for us. Yeah, I'm not very good at baseball or basketball games, but I think it would be fun for you guys to, to watch me, you know, not dominate in football 24-7. Man, we break a tackle in the backfield, and Ohio still gets the, the stop. A tackle for a loss again. We will have to punt it. Unfortunately, we have to rely on the defense to win us this game. All right, Ohio at their own 35-yard line. They have to get to about the... 33-yard line for a game-winning field goal. That pass is incomplete. Just threw it in the dirt. I switched off my guy for some reason. And that's not what we want. Edwards all the way inside Grizzly territory now. Washington and Lynch, players of the game. Bumble! Get it, Miller! And Wade will recover it. Holy smokes. Who forced it? We don't even get a replay. Bunch of homers out here, man. I tell you what. Who is it? Oh, it was, was that Young? Young, he comes back from injury, forces the fumble. And we get the takeaway. Ohio, still two timeouts left, though. We'll have to at least get one first down, I believe. And that probably won't do it. Robinson injured on the play as well. My goodness. Bobcats dropping like flies out here. Did a good job staying in bounds. And Ohio now out of timeouts. I think we have to get this first down. Third down and seven. Run as much clock off of there as we can. And 
Avalanche stopped at the line of scrimmage. I think we have to, oh, we don't have to actually punt it. I don't know if we have to snap the ball or not. I'm not sure, but I'm, not, I'm just going to let it go all the way down. And we do get the flag. It's all right, we're just going to kneel it down. Victory formation for Montana. And we have secured our fourth win of the season, 21-20 over Ohio. Hard-fought, gritty victory. Lynch player of the game for the Grizz. Three touchdown runs over 100-plus yards. And our defense played pretty good. I mean, the rush defense, man, we could not slow down Bass at all this entire game. The only reason he didn't get player of the game for Ohio is because of the pick six from Bobby Washington. But a very, very close win for us. We are two games away from being bowl eligible now. And we only have the one turnover. We had two forced fumble recoveries. And we got shut out in the fourth quarter, but that's okay. We did just enough to come away with the victory. Brandon White, 9 of 14, 140 yards, zero touchdowns, one pick. White also had 45 on the ground. Walker with 51, and Jeff Lynch over 150 with three touchdowns. We gave him the ball 34 times, only a long of 22, but he was just a force. Nine broken tackles. Richard Sr. tight end, Jeremy Fenner, four catches and 56 yards, led the team today. Concepcion with six tackles. We had 10 tackles for loss as a defense, one sack for Young. A couple deflections, three forced fumbles, Concepcion, Young, and Lance Miller. Wade and Papinga with the recoveries. McGrew did uh, pretty well punting the ball, 43.7 yard average today. And that is it for our game against Ohio. That should bump us up into the top 80, I believe. I'm hoping. Clemson beats Georgia Tech in a thriller. Miami is still undefeated. That's crazy. UNLV beats BYU 52-0. Oh my goodness. USF 1-7 is also surprising. What in the heck's going on there? We had a really, really difficult game coming up now as we travel to take on Boston College. Obviously, they're better on paper. The ratings are better. But, I mean, they're pretty middle of the road for everything. They don't do anything exceptionally well. We have a top 10 rushing attack. So, of course, we are going to lean on that again here today against Boston College. And we have a better offense overall as well. We're 50th. They are 62nd. And their defense is 51st. Okay. Our turnover differential is awful. My goodness. Check out the crew, see what we got going on here. Official visit, Keith Lindsay. He's going to take a look at our campus as we host Kent State. I believe that's going to be in our next stream. Still got the soft verbal from Campbell and Cobbs. And no official visit yet from Sam Daniels. 
Hopefully within the next week or so, we'll be able to get that visit in for him. Dirty Creek Sports, what's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Just in time to watch us uh, probably get throttled by Boston College, but we're going to give it our best shot. Top 25 heading into this week. USC jumps up to one after Texas lost. Miami to two. Auburn, Notre Dame, Oklahoma, Florida, Texas, Louisville, West Virginia, Tennessee, Iowa, Nebraska, LSU, Penn State, Virginia Tech, Ohio State, the Michigan States and Michigans, Florida State, Alabama, TCU, Clemson, Arizona State, Georgia, and Georgia Tech. So the only small school, I believe, is TCU. Am I correct in saying that? Yes. The only team from a small conference that's in the top 25 are the Horned Frogs. Heisman watch, Kyle Wright, come on. Man, that running back is killing it. Wide receiver from LSU, 13 touchdowns. He's going insane. And Brady Quinn, 25 touchdowns. Can't remember who this is. Who is this? Can't remember. And Jeremy Thompson, senior halfback from Auburn, is fifth. Let's see what we got for players of the week around the nation. Justin Burks, running back from Louisville, six touchdowns on the ground, 245 yards. He also had 51 receiving in their 73 to 14 win in the Carrier Dome against Syracuse. My goodness. Robert Hicks from LSU, six tackles, two for loss, two picks, four fumble, touchdown. Dude went crazy. Let's see what else we got here. Penn State quarterback throws for 462 and four scores against Illinois. Yeah, nothing too crazy here. There's Justin Burks again. Rice running back goes for 229, three touchdowns. Dominique Henderson, senior corner from Tulsa, had two pick six or er, two interceptions, one pick six. Twelve catches, 188 yards, three touchdowns for Chris Ball out of Akron. And not a whole lot going on here. That's a good stat line. Bruce Marquart, 355 yards, four touchdowns. And he went over Stanford for Arizona State. Stephen Harris, red shirt, sophomore halfback, and the win over Alabama ran for 212 yards, five touchdowns. Oh my goodness. 422 yards passing, seven touchdowns for who is, is that Jared Zabransky? Good lordy. All right, check out the conference, the matching. We are currently fifth. We have two conference losses on the year. We're second in the East. That's very important. We have to be able to distinguish between the two divisions here. We might be able to get a shot at the MAC championship game. We'll have to beat Kent State. We already lost to Miami, Ohio, if I'm remembering right. Let's take a look at our schedule. Before I just start talking out of my ass here. Yeah, we beat Temple. Beat Montana State, who's 0-8. They're having a rough time here in the FBS level. Lost to Northern Illinois. Lost to Auburn. Beat Ball State. Lost to Miami, Ohio. Beat Ohio. And now we travel to take on Boston College. Let's get it, boys. It's televised as well, so we got to go and get our commentary on, folks. Make sure we get that on. All right, we'll save the dynasty real quick, then we'll, we'll get into that. Chilling while you're playing NCAA as well. Nice. Which uh, which NCAA game are you playing currently? And what team are you using?
You're working on some music? What kind of music are you working on, Dirty Creek? I can't remember if you're in the Discord or not, but you are. If you are. Um, send me some of your music, man. This is going to be a beautiful stadium to play in right now, too. Check out the report card. This is our second televised game. Not sure how well we're going to do, but we're going to give it a go, fellas. All right, let's get it. Montana, 4-3. and three. Boston College, 3-4. and four. Let's go. Lynch closing in on a 1,000 yards rushing. I'm sure he's going to get it in this game. Boston College has not won a conference game yet this season. 0-4. Out of conference, they're undefeated, though. Killing it. That does not bode well for us. Let's go, Grizz! Let's go, baby! The forecast for today's game between the Montana Grizzlies and the Boston College Eagles. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Eagles. The Grizzlies believe that they're the better team. Who are you taking in this one, Herbie? Boston College needs to look no further than their quarterback to figure out what holds this team together. Matt Ryan. His ability to read the defense and take what they give him is the reason they'll win this football game. Oh my god. Well, that's it for our pregame. Let's get down to the field so we can get this thing started. Lee Corso going with the upset pick, picking Montana for the win over Matt Ryan and the boys. Make sure we get the commentary back off. All right, fellas, let's get it. Montana, Boston College. Here in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. Get him. Woo, man, he's fast. Holy smokes. Get him, boys. Oh, he's wide open. Zone coverage, and he found a spot where there was nobody. Not a good start. These boys are fast, too. He caught that, and I got real nervous. I just broke off of three different blocks. My goodness. And Buchanan with a big hit in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. It's third down and 12 coming up. A little bit of rain happening. Don't like that. And that pass is going to hit the grass. Montana defense with a huge stop on the opening drive of the game. And we are... 
are definitely going to fair catch that one. Oh boy. It's going to be loud in here, boys. See how loud they can get. I saw a 63 decibel in there. Oh my goodness! Linebacker coming out of nowhere. Shot out of a cannon. Oof. Offensive lineman ran right by him. There's a decent run from Lynch. He's got seven yards now on the drive. Go option. Montana, 113th in the nation on third down. Just 29% conversion rate. And they're going to get this one. No, he fumbles it. Oh, my goodness. How did he fumble that? Bounced right off of a defender somehow. It was still in his hand. I don't think I pitched it. I don't. I don't think I did. Nope. He just punched it right out. A little peanut punch. That is extremely unfortunate, especially for our defense, who is uh, got a, a short field to work with here at the 37. He's wide open. Nice catch by Veach. Inside the 25-yard line. First down, BC. Oh, I got pancaked out of my mind. Six yard carry. Hey, what up, Audrey? How you doing? He's wide open, and that's a touchdown. No way. Come on, man. That dude was way out of bounds. I'm trying to watch the replay back. Yeah, I'm challenging that, boys. Gotta challenge it. Oh, yeah, he's way out of bounds. Get him out of here. Out here taunting, and he doesn't even have a touchdown. Not even close, buddy. Yeah, boo all you want. Cry about it. You just ducky Audrey? Nice. Get him. And this is incomplete. So the challenge is actually huge. Takes the touchdown off the board. We hold him to a field goal. That was a massive challenge. And the field goal nearly blocked, but BC is on the board first. It is 3 nothing. Jameson Hughes, what's going on, brother? Got to be careful with recruiting points and losing a lot. Well, I did turn uh, coach contracts off, but that's only because um, I made the coach for... Oh, nice spin move. I made the coach for Montana State as well. And I don't want him to get fired, and I know he's going to have a rough time. He's already 0-8, so... <laughs> 
so I kept that. Uh, I kept co contracts off, but I will try not to have a hard time recruiting. Oh my goodness, if the receiver just held that block for more than a split second, that could have been a touchdown. Hope you're doing well, Jameson. Lynch again up to about the 47 yard line 35 yards away from 1,000 on the season just dropping frames for no reason right now that's unfortunate all right we'll figure it out and white Gets it up past midfield. Gonna keep pounding the rock. I really don't want to throw it too much if I don't have to. Poor Fenner. Got crushed by the linebacker. It's third down and six. Let's go. Oh, maybe Fenner over the middle. And Fenner has it, but he is short of the marker. That is super unfortunate. I'm going to do the same play out of a different formation. Try to draw him off sides first. smokes first down Montana that should have been offsides I don't know how we didn't get the penalty thrown on the defensive lineman but luckily Fenner was able to hang on that's a huge conversion for us and Walker will pick up just two try to get him with play action Oh my goodness, where are you throwing that? And it's third down and eight. I'm going to keep it on the ground. Hopefully we get a handful of yards here and then maybe go for it on fourth if, uh, if we get enough. It's a good run. Lynch has the first down inside the 25. Really liking some of the blocks that we're having. And the left tackle, false start. Get a little too excited out here. Try ISO right side with Walker. Oh my goodness, Stiff Arms, a star player, and gets the chains moving up to the 11. What a run from the number two halfback, Walker. Holy Toledo. This is their star linebacker. Just get out of my way, brother. Boom. Great run. That definitely deserved a replay. And not a lot of space. On first down, Lynch crushed at the line of scrimmage. It's 
Second down and 10. What do we got going here? Uh-oh. I'm toast. Oh, my goodness. Not sure whose assignment it was to pick up number 52, but uh, they failed. They failed big time. And it's third and 18 now. Huge loss. We got to get all the way down to the one yard line. Right up top in the end zone. Deflected away. We will have to settle for a field goal try. If it's good, it'll be a tie ball game. The kick is up, and it is good. Three all here in the first quarter. That was a 14 play, 51 yard drive, took 347 off the clock. We are in this game, boys. That was not a very good kickoff. Just at the 10 yard line. Ugh. Terrible. See if the defense can stand tall again. Quick pass. Burks. He's going to pick up five or six. Right over the middle. over the middle this time to the running back Jackson and the Eagles get the ball moving wide open again and the receiver a little bit of miscommunication there on the throw he was open though Second down, coming up. Really surprised they're not trying to run the ball, but this guy's wide open. My goodness, what a catch by Veach. One-handed grab on the sideline. First down, BC. That was pretty. One second left. In the first quarter, Boston College trying to get in the end zone for the first time tonight. That man wide open. Jackson's going to go backwards, and that'll get us into the second quarter. We are all tied up. Three off. Go defense. And Buchanan with a nice tackle. He had a few really good tackles against Ohio. Several tackles for a loss. And it's third down and 10. This is a big time play. Young, our star linebacker, is in the zone. Get him, boys. He's wide open. And Cruz is going to have to come backwards. And he is stopped. It's fourth down, Boston College. They're going to set on the field goal unit again. Russ on for the attempt. Kicks up. And it's good, Boston College. Back on top, 6-3. to three. In a defensive struggle right now. Boys, back to the ground game. My 
Montana, 70 yards of offense. Boston College, 107. And nice tackle by the defensive end. Let's go option strong out of single back. We're going to go left side. And we get no blocking up front by the center. McDaniel, the defensive tackle, just shot right through there. Basically unblocked. Third down and ten. Got to keep the drive going. Who's open? Anybody? Running back's open, and he cannot hang on. Nice deflection by the linebacker. And Montana, unfortunately, will have to punt it back to the Eagles. Man, decent return up to the 43-yard line. How much longer can this Montana defense hang on and contain this Boston College offense? Wide open over the middle is Rodgers inside Grizzly territory. Look at the quarterback comparison. Uh, there is no comparison. Matt Ryan is slagging it. And he's in the zone right now. Got to be careful. He's wide open. Veach. He's having a great game. Three catches, 80 yards, I believe. Just trying to pick plays for our defense that can just keep these guys in front of us somewhat. And not allow the big touchdown over the top. Because if they're able to open up this offense, we are going to be in serious trouble. There's a broken tackle. There's a fumble. And it's somehow recovered by the Eagles. Second down and five coming up. Boston College got lucky. Less than five minutes to go in the first half. Young in the zone at linebacker. And Moore with a nice tackle for a loss of two on the pass play. His 27th tackle on the season. Third down and six. Another big play. Boston College zero for three on third down. Montana one for five. Let's go, boys. Pressured. And we force the bad pass. And the Grizzly defense holds tough again. Boston College sending on Russ for another field goal try. This a 32-yarder. He's 10 of 13 on the season. And kick is up, and it is good. Three for three in the first half. It's nine to three. We gotta get something going on offense. Gotta get the ground game working for us. Get a drive going, get a field goal, get a touchdown. Just any kind of score here for Montana would be huge. We're not even gonna try to return that. I'm sorry. Alright, let's go option or not option, but I formation rather. Get a fullback out there, an extra blocker for Lynch. We're going to switch this to the right. I don't want to run straight at that linebacker right now. And Lynch will get two. The extra blocker did not help us a whole lot on that play. And no blocking. All right. So now we're going to have to throw it. Third down and 10. I didn't want to put 
Brandon White in these situations. We got a man open, and it's Smith, and he is loose past midfield. The 40, the 30, the 20, and all the way down to the 10 yard line. First down, Montana. Best play of the day for the offense. That play was called Gambler. We took a gamble and it paid off. First and goal. Let's go, boys. That was beautiful. All right, let's punch it into the end zone. Not on that play. Oh my goodness. Fenner is getting bodied trying to run block. Three minutes to go in the half. And White. Gonna take off here. Can he reach the end zone? Touchdown, Montana! The QB scrambles for 13 yards. And they got a shot at taking the lead with an extra point. What a beautiful run. And the crowd goes quiet. The extra point is up and good. Montana has the lead. 10-9. 248 left in the first half. Looking for a big time upset here in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. And that fake did not fake anybody out whatsoever. We have 69 yards rushing. Nice. And Conception gets the tackle. I was not trying to use him, but it worked out for us. Second down and 10 for the Eagles. And that's Papinga. With a tackle for a loss. It's third and 15 now. BC 0 for 4. On third down. They got a long way to go on this one. Quarterback is in the zone. Pressured wide open again. But he throws Rodgers out of bounds. And the Montana defense steps up yet again. Forcing the punt. pause it for a moment after this return so my OBS is malfunctioning I don't want you guys to miss anything YouTube is not receiving enough blah 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 cool okay I think it's fixed now holy Toledo what's going on OBS don't you ruin the stream don't you do it all right, let's get down there. Let's try to get some more points on the board. And decent run from Lynch, picking up four. The field goal would be great on this drive as well. And Lynch is going to move the chains. He's 14 yards away from 1,000. Let's go play action. And we're 
Hawks going to take off. White is going to get the chains moving again. First down, Montana. Up to the 31-yard line. Montana out gaining Boston College now. 171 yards to 143. And a nice stiff arm from Lynch again. And he'll pick up 12. And then move the chains again. What a drive this has been. And there goes White inside the 10 yard line first and goal Grizzlies. This is a beautiful, beautiful drive. No, oh my goodness. My life just flashed before my eyes. I thought that was gonna be picked off. I would have been devastated. Absolutely devastated. And Lynch is in. Touchdown, Montana. Seven-point lead with a shot at making it an eight-point lead with the extra point. Grizzlies with all the momentum now. Hopefully we can fill the momentum bar all the way up for us. The way our defense is playing, though, I really like our chances at closing this game out. The extra point is up and good. It is 17-9 with 44 seconds left in the first half. No big plays. No big plays. Tackle by Mott. And at the 23. We get the ball to start the second half as well. And a good run by Jackson. He's only got a couple carries in this game. Really surprised they have not tried to run it more. Our run defense was... Uh, just taking advantage of the <laughs> last game against Ohio. And over the middle, oh my goodness, a vicious hit. Man, that's incomplete. 33 seconds left now. Second and 10. My goodness, he's wide open. Veach broke a tackle. He might go, and Veach is gone. He is having a career day. Can't contain him. He's too good. And we are not fast enough to catch anybody in the country. So, And they're going to go for two points, of course. All right, boys, let's, uh, let's salvage this by stopping them on this two-point try. And he's wide open. And Veach able to hang on to it. we got a tie ball game, 17 all. Man, what an answer from BC. Really giving it my all right now, guys. This is a tough game. Walker from two yards deep. And he's going to fumble. Oh, Benko, you just saved us. We're going to kneel it down because if I turn the ball over right here, I will cry. I will cry myself to sleep tonight. I'll do it.
We're going to go into halftime, tied up at 17 here in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. We get the ball to start the second half, which is huge for us. And we have to establish the run game on that drive. We've got to get it going. Got to have a nice, long, sustained drive and get some points on the board. I don't care what it is. Obviously, I'd prefer a touchdown, but any kind of points right now would just be beautiful. And nice return up to the 25-yard line. And Brandon White and the boys take the field on offense for Montana. 200 yards of offense for the Grizzlies and 220 for BC. And Lynch going to be dropped after a couple yards. Just 67 yards, but a 4.1 yard average today. That's not bad. stuffed at the line of scrimmage. This is not what we wanted. We did not want a third and long. Third down and eight. The Grizz just two for six on third down. Throw it up top. That's going to be picked. Oh my goodness. Wilson caught it and he's gone. Holy smokes, the speed burst. Touchdown, Montana. Defensive back was blindfolded. Never saw the ball coming towards him. That's a 74-yard touchdown pass from Brandon White. He never even tried to make a play on the ball. I don't think he ever saw it. Second big pass play of the game, and that is exactly what the doctor ordered. Extra point is good. It's 24-17. Was not expecting us to be able to throw it a little bit here in this game. Tackle by Mott. All right, defense. No big plays. Veach has had a field day against the secondary. And can we get him? Yes, we can. Nice run by him, though. No, that was a pickup of four for Matt Ryan, a.k.a. I think Paul Davis was his name. Get him, boys. Jackson going to lose two. And it's third and eight. Let's go cover three zone. BC, zero for five on third down. That is really surprising. We've been able to get some pressure on the quarterback on third down. So that's been the biggest difference. There's some more pressure off the edge. And another incomplete pass brings up fourth and eight. Another huge stop for the Montana defense. We're going to fair catch this because we just get no blocking. Oh my. Instant pressure from McDaniel, his third tackle for a loss today. Feel bad for Lynch. Didn't even have an opportunity out there. And that 
should have been picked off. We got lucky. I got a little too overzealous on that play. That brings up third and 11. Grizzlies, three for seven today on third down. Good pass and dropped. That was a good throw. And McGrew will come on for the punt. Standing back at his own, what, 22-yard line. Nice tackle by Wade at the 23. Beautiful coverage downfield. Let's go, boys. Another big stop. Wide open is Jackson, and they keep going to this running back in the passing game, and he's lost yards almost every time. A loss of six, that one. Maybe take those routes and just throw them out. And nice catch by Veach again. He is so talented. Third down and six. Veach, five catches, 156, and a score. He's been unstoppable. And Beach again, wide open. That's the first third down conversion of the day for the Eagles. And that's a big one. All the way inside Montana territory at the 47. Come on, boys. Let's get him. Man, that is overthrown well out of bounds. That brings up second and ten. Carroll in the zone at defensive end for Montana. And Buchanan with a nice tackle on Jackson. Just eight carries for Kevin Jackson. That is not nearly enough carries for a running back. Especially this late in the game. If I was Boston College, I would have been running it down our throats all game. Buchanan is out at deep tackle, so Davis is now in. He's got to try to make some plays. And he's going to get the sack. Coming in for the tired Buchanan. Brings the quarterback down for the sack on third down. It's now fourth and 12 from the Grizz 49-yard line. Look at him. He's energized. And he's ready. Immediate impact from the backup defensive tackle. And BC has to punt it away again. Man, we're going to fair catch this. That's a no doubter. Go ISO on first down. And Lynch gets two, maybe three yards. Second down and eight. We got the defensive tackle to jump a little bit there. And White. Oh my goodness. Great play by the linebacker. Only a pickup of one. It's third and seven now. It's a big play. What can we do? Let's 
pressured, and we're going to be sacked. Nowhere to go. Satofi with his fifth sack of the season. That leads the Eagles. Just nowhere to go for Brandon White. Both teams fighting really hard here in the third quarter. Neither team wanting to give up an inch. And Papinga with the tackle. All right, defense, we need another stand from you, boys. And nearly picked off. Oh, my goodness. Bounced off the linebacker and Buchanan. Brings up second and ten. Keep an eye on Veach, number 26. Oh, I'm getting bodied, and we get sacked. Let's go. We get the sack. Who was it? It's Cohen again. Called his name a few times in this stream. And it's third and 13. Another big play for the defense. And Young is in the zone at linebacker, as well as the quarterback. BC one for eight on third down. Pressured, and a nice catch by Cruz, but he is not even close to the marker. Fourth and eight coming up. Eagles have to punt it away again. Blocking on that left side. Walker up to the 19, 18 yard line rather. Both defenses have been fantastic in the third quarter. Other than one pass from Brandon White. And there goes Lynch. Breaks the tackle. And he's going to get up to 76 yards on the day. That was an 8 yard carry. That might have got him over 1,000 for the season. Option. And we'll get the ball to Lynch. And that gets him to 83 yards. He's definitely at 1,000 yards rushing for the year. That's a great milestone. Man, that was a nice first down as well. Oh, nice cut to the outside. Look out. There's Lynch. Stiff arm. And up to the 49-yard line, showing a lot of strength and grit on that carry. And that is going to be the final play of the third quarter with Montana on top, 24-17. to 17. They just eclipsed 300 yards of offense in the game. Get your fours up in the chat, boys. Can we hang on for an upset on television? Can we get our first ever televised victory in the Dynasty? There's another good run. Lynch dropped at the 33-yard line. He is starting to catch fire. He might actually already be on fire. Just keep feeding the beast. Yeah. 
And there goes Lynch again. He's going to fumble it. No. Oh, no. He fumbles, and it is recovered by BC. We fed him one too many times. That is super unfortunate. He doesn't have many fumbles on the season. But that is a massive mistake for Montana. And Jackson going to get maybe a yard on the catch. I think that might be his first time getting positive yards on a reception today. Over the middle, it's caught by Wesley over the linebacker's head. I don't think he ever saw the ball. We're going to blitz the corners. It's going to be risky. But we're doing it. Come on, Wade, get in there. Hit the quarterback, please. Nope. Oh, no. It's Veach, and he goes out of bounds. Wow, his momentum carried him out of bounds. He's got 220 yards on seven catches with a touchdown. Man, what a monster he's been for this offense. And Burks picks up a couple off the right side. Lance Miller. One of our DBs that was suspended for several games this season is now hurt on the play. We've already missed him in uh, quite a few games this year. I'd like for him to stay healthy. Don't let your team down in multiple ways, please. Carroll in the zone at defensive end. And it's picked off! It's Moore! He has the interception at the 19-yard line. Stepped right in front of the receiver. And that is a massive takeaway. Yeah, number 12 for BC is definitely Matt Ryan, Marvin. Absolutely. Man, we get an unsportsmanlike penalty there, and uh, that's a big one. It's first and 19 now. Costly mistake by an undisciplined team. Lynch will pick up three. He's got 128 on the ground on 24 carries. Miller dislocated wrist. He will return. What a soldier. And I could do nothing on that play. Mr. James, what's going on, brother? Matty Ice in BC was fire? Absolutely. You know who else was better in BC, though? Luke Keekley, the tackling machine. One of my favorite players of all time. What a treat it was to be a Panthers fan and watch him destroy everybody. And we are unfortunately going to have to punt this away. Bad snap. Uh oh. Oh no. We got no coverage downfield. And they have great field position at the 44 yard line. Let's go, boys. Four and a half to go. Trying to pull off the big upset. And it's picked off again. It's Miller with his dislocated wrist. He misses and makes the guy miss, and he's gone. Oh, my goodness. Say it ain't so, Matty Ice. Throwing a 60-yard pick six to the man who just dislocated his wrist, I think, two plays prior to that. Oh my goodness, maybe four plays, but what a way to come back on the field after an injury and make an immediate impact.
Guy's got one wrist right now. And Montana with a two touchdown lead. With 418 remaining in the game. This is crazy. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm having a blast right now. This is a heck of a game we're having. I was not expecting this kind of performance from, from the Grizzlies tonight. Edward Kelly, what's going on, Edward? Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Man, this crowd is just absolutely stunned right now, boys. Four seventeen left. Let's go, boys. Let's get him. I'm getting held all day, and that's a bad pass. Matty Ice struggling right now. Throwing a couple picks here in the fourth quarter. Dennis Young in the zone at linebacker. Oh, no. Forced him that way, and he still picks up 10 yards. Micah Concepcion has injured his chest on the play. Hopefully, he just got the wind knocked out of him. He should be all right. I still cannot believe that pick six. Oh, my goodness. What a play. Get him, boys. Jackson, pick it up five. This, they should have just done this. The whole game is pound the rock. You just subscribed recently and liking the content so far? Hey man, I'm glad to hear it. Appreciate the support, brother. Oh, that was that should have been offsides. Woo! Get him! Nice tackle by Wade. And it's third down and four. For the Eagles, Concepcion, broken ribs out for four weeks. That's going to be a big loss for us. That's, that's the rest of the regular season. I am getting blocked out of my pants right now. What is going on? Yeah, we got plenty of different kind of content coming to the channel. We got, well, we've already got three series going. Arena Football, we got this series. We got 2K5, and coming soon is... MVP NCAA Baseball 07. I'm still adding subscriber players to that. If you guys are not in the Discord community and you want to have a player in that series, there's a link in the description below for the Discord. Hop on in there. Make a player. We still need a bunch of relief pitchers and position players as well. Everybody's going to play. There's no bench, really. Going to alternate the starting lineups every game. So everybody is going to have a chance to hit some dangers. And what was that throw? Matt Ryan, are you okay, buddy? 07, 08 BC teams are probably their best teams of all time. I mean, that's, yeah. I, I can't really disagree. The only thing I could throw out there is Doug Flutie's time when he was at BC. Won the Heisman. Beat Miami. It pains me to say it. They need a couple touchdowns here quick. And, oh my goodness, another nice catch over the middle. That's Rodgers. Pays the price, though. Big hit. And they're going to get us for offsides for bumping into somebody, trying to get back across the line. And that's such a BS penalty. Down at five. Oh, I fell down. Get back up, Davis. And he's wide open. So fast. Rodgers gets in for six. That was just a great throw from Matt Ryan. The game is not an upset yet, folks. Extra point is up and good. 31-24. Here in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. Two thirty-nine to go. 
Let's get a nice drive going. Where's my guy? He did not even want to return it. <laughs> what the heck, man? That probably could have been a decent return up the sideline, honestly. All right, here we go. And Lynch crushed after a yard or two. This might be a situation eventually where we may have to throw it. We've had a little bit of success throwing it today, but I don't want to force anything and, and have a turnover this late in the game with a lead. We're going to try to run as much clock off as we can. Can't pitch it. That's a big loss. Offensive line letting us down on that play. And we got a third and 12. Where do we go from here? Let's go scissors in. We get a post corner combo on the left. We got two in routes on the right. One is past the line to gain. One is right before it. I might try to hit Wilson on this corner. That looks pretty crispy right now. And we're gonna take off. This is an easy first down. First down, Montana. That is massive. Left the whole left side of the field wide open for the quarterback. Let's go ISO with Walker. Both teams up over 50 plays of offense. And there goes Walker. He's going to pick up about seven. Not a bad season for him as the number two. 337 and three scores. It's really great seeing some new names in the chat, guys. I really appreciate the support from all the newcomers and all the old timers as well. Always good to get to know new people. All right, one minute left. Run it. Oh, yeah, let's go. First down, Jeff Lynch. BC is going to start calling their timeouts. How many do they have? Do they have all three? Well, two after that one. Oh, they're actually all out. I didn't even realize. So we don't even have to. This, this game's over. We're just going to kneel it down a few times and get out of here with the upset win, boys. Let's go ahead and turn on the commentary. Actually, we'll wait until there's like 10 seconds left. Flag for offsides, okay. One more kneel down. Big win for the Grizz. Yes, sir, Marvin. Yes, sir. I didn't think we had a shot in this game, but man, did our defense come out swinging, boys. All right, now we'll turn the commentary on. Hear what the boys got to say. I'm pretty excited about it. Our first ever win on television. Against the ACC team, no less.
Yeah, this was a great football game played by two teams that really wanted to win. Boston College made a few more mistakes in this game than their opponents. Whether it's turnovers, penalties, missed tackles, or blown assignments, you just can't afford to make mistakes and expect to win. We look forward to calling more games of NCAA Football 2007. But until then, our final score in this one, Montana 31, Boston College 24. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreit, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time. Yo, shout out to Lee Corso for uh, picking Montana and the upset victory. Okay, that was beautiful. They had more yards than us. Oh, and also hats off to, to Veach, their wide receiver, who went over 200 yards receiving against us. We had no answer for that young man. He was going bananas out here. We sacked Matt Ryan twice. They got us three times. They were only 20% on third down. They threw a pick six. We picked them off twice this game. Incredible performance from the defense. Look at that scoreboard. That's beautiful. We shut them out in the third quarter. Such a back and forth game. But that 60 yard pick six by Miller after he just came back from a dislocated wrist like a handful of plays before that. I mean, that's got to be something. That's that's a great story right there. And then they, they scored again, but, you know, 239, they just they couldn't get anything else after that. They threw it 41 times for 353 yards, three touchdowns, two picks, and they barely ran the ball. If they ran the ball more, I think they'd win this game, to be honest. Brandon White, 4 for 10, 155 yards, one touchdown, no picks. I mean, a couple big-time passes in this game. Jeff Lynch, 141 yards, touchdown. Brandon White had a touchdown on the ground. No runs over 20 yards in this one. Seven broken tackles for Lynch, though. Just an absolute beast. Everybody fumbled the ball for us that ran the ball. <laughs> Insane. Fenner, two for 11. Lamont Smith, one for 70. And Derek Wilson, one for 74 yards and a touchdown. And a drop for Jeff Lynch. He was having the case of the dropsies today. Drop and a fumble. Lumpkin and Cunningham with some pancakes. Defense, Eric Moore led the team in tackles with six. Young and Miller both had five. Seven tackles for a loss for the defense. Two sacks. Jarrett Davis had one. The backup defensive tackle. And R.J. Cohen, the Richard Sr. defensive end, had one as well. Eric Moore with a pick. Lance Miller with that 60-yard, uh, basically game-sealing pick six. Three deflections for the boys. Forced fumble for Dennis Young. We couldn't recover it, though. Jamal Henry, one for one, long of 37. And punting, net average, not so great, but 43.7 yards per punt. That's pretty good. Especially, uh... Hey, the junior. Okay, I thought he was, a. Uh, Underclassman, that's fine. Man, what an upset victory, boys. 31-24, that's the final. Concepcion, only a 52 overall. I didn't even realize he had such a low overall. We were 72nd going into that game. They were 51st. So I'm really interested to see how much farther we jump up into the rankings. Obviously, we're not going to be top 25. That's probably not going to happen this season, if we're being totally honest here. But that was a massive victory for us. I think that was our fifth win. That, that was. That was our fifth win of the season. We only need one more for bowl eligibility. And that win will probably actually really help us uh, with our in-season recruiting as well. We might actually get our two soft verbals to fully commit after that game. Let's see. I'm excited to find out if we get... That six foot nine left tackle that I just I'm just salivating over. We need the O line help. You guys watch every game, and you see our offensive line get just blasted over and over again. We do get Dennis Campbell. We got the four star guard. He's six two, three hundred fifteen pounds, out of Parkway, California. I really want to focus on California, make that a pipeline. Uh, state for us in recruiting, but this guy he's gonna be a monster Really excited about this commitment here 
A plus field awareness. That's beautiful. 26 inch vert at 315. Okay. I like that. I'm not sure when he's ever going to have to jump, but <laughs> squat is 680. Bench press 470. I'm not sure exactly which ratings those boost or not. But again, that's our first ever commit. Dennis Campbell, uh, starting guard next season, 100%. And now we can dump some more points into our other guys. We have three other guys, so now they can all get 33. Well, somebody's going to get 34 points, and we're going to make this guy. All right, what do we got? Official visit. Looking for a team that plays a different style of football. Well, you know what, Keith? That's too damn bad, all right? Not to worry about his education. Playing early is not. Okay, playing... We're an esteemed coach. It's not high on his list. Um, okay, so not academics, not program prestige, right? Oh, maybe program prestige. Or location. Let's just go location on it. Why not? We're going up against Stanford and Cal, so I, I like our shot right there uh, with, the, with that guy. Still a soft verbal. I swear, if Oregon State somehow squeaks by us and snags my most coveted recruit, I will be furious. I will cry. And this guy still has a top five, so... I mean, get it together, buddy. Get a top three going, please. So we can give you a visit. I would really enjoy that. Check out what they got to say about our coach real quick. We'll check out our next two matchups for our next stream. A win's a win. Keep it up, coach. Wow, really? That's it? We got two wins in a row again. We just won our first ever game on TV. We're 5-3. and three, And that's all you got to say to me after a huge upset win at Boston College. Okay, thanks, guys. Let's check out ESPN the Magazine. Don't need to care about the BCS rankings. Top 25 polls. Uh, no change here in the top six. The seventh team lost. Who did they lose to? Texas lost again, this time to Texas Tech. No way. Man, what a game. And that's, uh, that's really the only movement. Not a whole lot else there in the top 15. Minnesota and Utah. Minnesota beats Ohio State. Beautiful. Love it. And Texas Tech jumps up into the rankings, but that went over Texas. Check out the Heisman watch. And not a lot of movement here. Just Parham from Iowa jumping up to number two. And Morgan and Bird falling down one spot each. Hunt and Thompson stay put at one and five. Players of the week. Veach is definitely getting player of the week for the ACC, 100% at receiver. North Texas halfback ran for 307 yards, four touchdowns against Troy in a 39-36 win. Holy smokes. Middle linebacker for Virginia Tech, 14 tackles, eight for loss, three sacks, a pick, and a forced fumble in a 38-31 win over Clemson. That's insane. No way Veach did not get player of the week. Are they not in the ACC right here? Are they in the Big East still? No way. Am I losing my mind? I mean, I guess 229 yards, three touchdowns is better. I guess. It's not who I would have went for. Parham, 443, six touchdowns against Northern Illinois. Adrian Peterson, 165 yards, three touchdowns on the ground, one receiving. That's it. Halfback has 43 yards and four touchdowns. <laughs> what the heck, man? Was he, Lendell White? And Lance Miller gets player of the week for the defense in the MAC. Five tackles, one for loss, and a pick six. The game ceiling interception touchdown. And Jeremy Bass goes crazy again for Ohio. This time they do win that game against Kent State, 21-14. He ran for 192 and three touchdowns. He's got to be leading the MAC in rushing yards. And let's see. 
received 16 tackles, three for loss, a sack, and a pick for Matt Curry, senior middle linebacker for FIU. Nevada quarterback throws for 341 and four touchdowns in the whack, and that is it. Check out conference standings. Obviously, our spot did not move at all because we didn't have a conference game. But we are second. So Kent State lost a uh, conference game this week against Ohio. So we have a four-way tie um, at top of the MAC East, which is huge. We beat Ohio. We lost to Miami, Ohio. And we do have Kent State and Akron both coming up on the schedule. I believe that is our next two contests for our next stream. Kent State and, yes, Akron. So we will be hosting the Golden Flashes in Missoula. Here's the look at the matchup. We have the 51st offense. Their defense is actually 21st in the country. Have a little bit of a tough time stopping the run, so we might have some success against them. And our defense is 70th after Matt Ryan just diced us up. And the second game of our next stream will be traveling to Akron, Ohio to take on the 2-6 Zips, who have the 42nd ranked offense as far as yards per game. Um, but yeah, their defense, 118th. That is just terrible. But that's it, folks. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this stream. If you did, be sure to slap the like button on your way out of the stream. Subscribe if you're new. And join the Discord community today. There's a link in the description below for that. And I will see y'all tomorrow with some NFL 2K5 Buffalo Bills franchise. Looking forward to that one. But that's it, guys. Until next time, take it easy.